so yeah. Luke say? gets nuked. What are we talking about? We see oh, <laughs> we see Amon so and Vagar, and Vagar takes uh, the the largest bite imaginable oh. out of poor uh, Eric's. How to so, train your dragon gone wrong? This oh was, shit! This was the most uh, controversial. I think part of the episode and maybe part of our discussion, I threw this up in the Instagram poll and this is my, I'm just going to throw it to you guys after this. Was this a murder or was this an accident? 62% of our audience thinks it was an accident. 38 think it's a murder. I am absolutely on team murder. Interesting. I do not think this was an accident at all. You heard it here first, first, everybody. Cam is team murder. But what, what do you guys think? How did you interpret this scene? Tristan, you can go first. All right. So this is tough. <laughs> this is the lawyer in me coming out. Mm. If you guys didn't know, this, Tristan's a lawyer. <laughs> this this may <laughs> this may not have been a murder in the sense that it was premeditated or straight up, you know, first or not second in the first degree, degree. murder. <laughs> right, exactly. But what you have is a child who happens to be riding a nuclear weapon. <laughs> Taking that <laughs> nuclear weapon out on a joyride mm-hmm. to see what kind of rise he can get out of the clearly unmatched mm-hmm. rider of the other dragon. Of the smaller now, nuclear weapon. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Much smaller. And, and it doesn't matter what he intended to do. What ultimately happened is that these dragons have a mind of their own to some mm-hmm. extent. And just the fact that he took that, he had the opportunity multiple times to leave it alone, mm-hmm. right? Whenever Arax got into that little ravine, into that canyon, mm-hmm. and escaped that way, mm-hmm. if if ultimately all that Aemond wanted to do was scare Arax mm-hmm. and, 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 and Lucerys, mm-hmm. he could have left at that point in time. Mm-hmm. Point made. He definitely shat himself on the back of that dragon. <laughs> Let him live another day. Yeah. Right, he can get that eye from him some other time, mm. but instead of doing that, he stays with it. Ultimately, Eric's a young dragon, untrained, doesn't uh, doesn't heal to Lucerus, and ultimately tries to defend itself by shooting fire mm-hmm. at Vagar, mm-hmm. who newsflash has been around for hundreds of years, <laughs> has been in wars. Will not, and and if these dragons are sentient, like we've seen, she's not going to take any shit from this little. <laughs> Tiny Mm -hmm. piss ant Mm -hmm. (laughs) trying to blind her Mm -hmm. with dragon fire. Mm -hmm. Vagar, who is literally 3,000 times the size of of Aemond, Mm. you know, ultimately takes matters into her own hands and does something that maybe he he wasn't prepared for, but should have expected because these are not toys. Yeah. Right? You're not playing chicken on your bike uh, at the cul-de-sac. Right. Right. These actions have consequences. So... Do I think that he intended to kill Luke? Absolutely not. Do I think that he was incredibly reckless to the point of being culpable for his actions? <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm very mm. curious to see how he tries to spin this story because right there he's got an excellent excuse by saying, oh, Luke attacked me first. Yeah. But we heard both of them say, no, listen to me. Mm-hmm. No dragon, don't do this. Do what I say. <laughs> dragon bad. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. and and both times they are not obeying. So when you've got you know Amond having been the only witness there that's alive, of course it's gonna be. Well, no, I was defending myself. Mm-hmm. It's too mm-hmm. easy. But yeah. I'm curious to see what kind of honor lies in Amond because I, I, I truly I don't think he is inherently evil. I think that he is a he is a 17 or 18 year old kid looking to get revenge on a cousin mm. and he took it too far. Sure. Yeah. I don't think he's irredeemable, but I think the way he chooses to address this situation after the fact really has the potential to alter my feeling one way or the other. Mm. Sure. Yeah. Cam, you look like you really want well, to say something. No, I just, I really liked, I mean, I liked the whole uh, kind of flow of that argument, but you made a point at the beginning about if the point was just to scare him. And I thought you were going to say, if the point was just to scare him, he did that when he threw the knife out of him and ordered him to cut out his own eyeball. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Like the kid was pissing himself before anyone got on a dragon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, well, I think this is reflective of how Aemond has treated this dragon all along. I mean, has treated his relationship with dragons in general. He couldn't get a dragon at the beginning, and there's the whole thing with the pig. And then, <clears throat> then he literally... 
hijacked this dragon when he wasn't supposed to and semi tamed her um but she's just way too much for him to be able to handle then when he's i think really was just trying to taunt luke and mess with him and scare him and maybe injure him a little and what does a little mean to Eamon is maybe not what a little means to somebody like us. <laughs> but um, I think he really didn't intend for him to die. Um, but he's just, he's reckless. And he's doing things that are bigger than he can handle and comprehend. Because his brain's not done cooking because he's a teenager. And I think, yeah, I mean, I think you're right, Tristan. I mean, I was going to say it more simply. Like, no, he didn't mean to. He's just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying like, oh, it's okay, baby. You made a mistake. Like, that that was bad. Right. Like it's not involuntary manslaughter, but it's um it's it's bad. Um, but I don't I really don't think he was like. Why else would he say, uh, Vagar no? Like in case Luke survives and gets mad at him, like that wasn't the issue. So I I don't think it was on purpose. But yeah, it was uh it was stupid and reckless. And I think I think he's more evil than you do, Tristan. I think he's pretty. He scares me. <laughs> I mean, I think he's got so he clearly recognizes the consequences of his actions. At the end, he's like, oh shit. But I think he's pretty much his a... character design. Though is so <laughs> cool. It is like, very cool. If if this was a video game, right? I'm gonna pick the Edge Lord character. Yes, and mm-hmm. that's him. Like, sure. It, whenever he was in there in that hall, all brooding in his like uh-huh. Dragon Rider outfit, I was like, holy shit. Yeah, I'm that, just saying that was a cool image <laughs> with his foot cocked out to I'm, the side. Oh yeah, yeah. I just, menacing. Any any like basically like legal adult who throws a knife at a 14 year old and says, cut your own eye out. <laughs> yeah. um, I don't want to mess with him or talk to him and I don't have any sympathy for him, but all I want to cool. say, all I want to say, the first episode of game of Thrones started with Jamie throwing Bran right. out of the window. You know, that Spoiler. is true. And by the end, he was absolutely one of my favorite characters. That's to- top three. Probably. That's totally fair. Um, I just love yeah. the argument that I didn't mean to kill him. I just meant to torture and terrify a small child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, uh, I was glad yeah. that, um, so one of those Ryan Condal interviews, this scene was obviously brought up and the interviewer, I think this was one in a variety referred to it as an accident. Mm-hmm. And this is Condal's quote about that. I thought you guys might get a kick out of this. He said, I would dispute the word accident a bit. I mean, Amond got on his giant dragon and chased his nephew on his, <laughs> exactly. much, on his much smaller dragon. He just couldn't let it go. Through the clouds, <laughs> screaming and yelling at him, incensing his dragon uh-huh. and starting a fight. Yeah. He didn't know how Eric's or Luke were going to respond and it ended in tragedy. Mm. I don't think that that was what Amond intended when he threw his leg mm-hmm. over the saddle, but he did a horrible, dangerous thing, and that is the point. Mm. This is a war of many cuts that leads to a really, really bloody wound. It adds complexity and nuance to a character that's mm. potentially interesting. There's a lot of runway to go on with Amond as a character in oh, the story yes. of the dance. Mm. This is his first act as a dragon rider and a warrior, and it's gone very wrong. Mm. Now what happens as a result, and how does he respond? Those are the questions I'm interested in as a dramatist. Cool. Yeah. Absolutely. That's exactly what I was just like. That's yeah, I love the, that. On the nose. Like, <laughs> I was I reading totally it while agree. you were talking. It was the same. I, that's no, I insane. love that. Like, 